Oh, okay. 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 Helping China government to fight it, to killing our freedom. You see, it's the UK government to help the China government to kill our freedom. The Hong Kong people, the Uyghurs people, and the Tibet people. You can see the image. It's very clearly that the government won't help Hong Kong people, won't help Tibet people. Just want to stop us, not to give us the, a chance to express that we are angered with this. We today come to China's embassy is showing this very state clearly opinion that we are against China government to doing this violent things. You know, and the police say don't rock the road. We have the right to explain our freedom. It's UK. It's an offence to block the roads, okay? It's my duty as a police officer to prevent a take. So it's a spread in the nature of our safety. I put on a new t-shirt because my old one was covered in blood. Explosion all the way the, the student movement, which merely offered suggestions to help the ruling party and the government. Good evening everybody and thank you for being here with us tonight. Revolutionary riots. Isn't it too cruel? Sending the army to slaughter students in 2020. Several of its senior figures are currently in jail. Denied to those who lost their loved ones 33, 33 years ago. Commemoration is not a crime. More importantly, with them. The Chinese Communist Party regime showed its true nature, its true character to the people. Thirty-three years. 
At that time, as well as the I really hope that our family is free to have this free happily and with Thank you. It is a privilege to speak today and to be joined.